We've all been there. You're trying to get ChatGPT to write a little less like ChatGPT and a little more like you. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to show you another very good way to do this. It's quick, it's easy, and it follows you from chat to chat, which is amazing. So you don't just have to only do this in one chat. All right. So before we get into it, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter to help everyday people like you and me, not just understand what's going on in AI, but how we can use it. So let's go use some AI and make sure you not only subscribe to this channel, but go sign up for the free daily newsletter. It's amazing. Um, am I biased? Maybe. Is it awesome? Yes. All right. So let's take a look at this plugin called the Bolt. This is what's going to allow us uh, to kind of take this um, your tone of voice with you to any chat that you have it enabled in. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to uh, this is the daily newsletter that I write, and I want it to uh, kind of um, copy this this tone of voice. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here, and I'm going to tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. All right. So you'll see there. I'm going to start a new chat on the on the right hand side once this is done. So well, actually, no, you can see right. So this is two completely different uh, chats to show you that we are going to save this on the one on the left. And we have, you know, we have multiple plugins uh, saved. Uh, we always um, tell people like use plugin packs. You can use up to three, you should always use three. So we also are giving uh, ChatGPT access to the internet and, uh, you know, just kind of testing some other plugins right now. So uh, the Bolt plugin is looks looks like it's about done. So it's, it's describing the tone, the cadence, it's describing what I told it to. I think when you um, ask for these uh, certain things, it'll hopefully um, bring it over a little bit more. Uh, so it's telling me, you know, uh, all these different things, the angle, level of slang, common words, cadence, tone, sentence length, paragraph length, blah, blah, blah. And then it's saying, uh, it's saying, feel free to refer to this analysis whenever you mention Jordan three. Sweet, right? All right, let's put it, let's put it to work. So uh, I grabbed this random article here. All right, so you see that on the right side of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into this new chat in ChatGPT. And I'm going to refresh it. Watch, just so you know, you know, no, no, no tricks are being played here. But I do have, you do have to have the Bolt uh, plugin enabled. So I'm going to say, uh, using the Bolt plugin, please rewrite this article in the Jordan 3, is what we saved it as, tone of voice. And then I'm going to paste the article in. I'm going to hit go. Ready? Let's zoom in. Let's watch this. So obviously, you know, we can read this. This is just a random article I found just to test it. Um, so it's 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 not written anything like uh, what the you know our newsletter is. This is very straightforward. It's just uh, you know a tech a tech blog, but it's it's definitely not uh, written in the same way as this. You know, this is very uh, our newsletter is pretty pretty informal. Uh, you know, I'm saying like new plug in who dis right. Uh, not the type of language you're going to see on Gizmodo. Uh, so let's jump in here. All right, so it's saying it appears that the uh, Jordan 3 tone of voice is not yet saved in the system. Could you please provide a description? All right, that's interesting. So uh, maybe it's not, uh, let me just go ahead and ask. So on the right-hand side, I'm saying is Jordan 3 saved inside of Bolt? I'm wondering if it's, uh, because of the, um, the capitalization. So we'll try that. Uh, it says, yes, the tone of voice has been saved as Jordan 3 inside the Bolt plugin. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to click refresh on this. Um, could be a caching issue. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. Maybe I need to do it without the uh, quotes there. So I'm just going to say Jordan 3. And let's see if that works. Maybe it was a... Uh, capitalization thing. Maybe it was because I had it in quotes. Uh, still can't find it. The Jordan 3 tone of voice is not yet defined in my system. Um, all right. Maybe, maybe. Let's let's try this one more time, y'all. We're going to get this to work. Uh, I'm going to try a new chat. So maybe because that chat had already been created before this, uh, maybe that's why it wasn't pulling. So we're going to try it one more time. Um, and I think, well, I hope it should work now. Jordan 3 tone of voice. Maybe that's what it was. So I started a new chat. 
hopefully this works now. Uh, this is, hey, we do these live because sometimes, you know, you get little hiccups, but it looks like that's probably what was happening. So I'm going to go ahead and even click here because uh, we can see what's going on and we can see if it pulls it. So it's uh, reading the URL. It went through all the text. Let's see if it's getting to the saved uh, tone of voice. Bam, there it is. Look at, so it is switching the tone of voice over to Jordan 3. Um, but then it says Jordan 3 was not found. Let's see if it worked. It did. Cool. Let's read it. Awesome. Here we go. Let's see if this sounds a little more like the newsletter. Uh, listen up, team. Major news outlet, outlets are hustling to strike deals with AI company. Why? Yeah, this already sounds more like it. Um, you know, throwing some emojis in here. Uh, yeah, this is, this is you know, common. You know, this sounds much more like it was a, a recap in our newsletter. Uh, so pretty sweet, right? Yeah. I think so. Um, I don't know if you can see or understand just how powerful this is. Um, if this is, this is one of those plugins, again, I haven't used it a lot, but I already see great use cases, uh, for the bolt plugin that you can save different tones of voices and use them anywhere where you have that plugin enabled. I'm already a big fan of this plugin. I've used hundreds of plugins. Uh, I think it's worth checking out. All right, I hope this was helpful. If so, subscribe to this channel, but also please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and I hope to see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.